Pleasant good morning. Welcome to Transwest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today, guys, I'm going to show you a 2017 Freightliner M2106. This one is the Western Hauler conversion. Just under 114,000 miles. Clean unit. Great for towing. Again, if you guys want to switch out the towing hitch we have on there, we have time to do that. Again, we're gonna go over some of the features and for all those just trying to get into moving from a one ton to a Freightliner, this will be the perfect opportunity to know a little bit more about those Freightliners. Again, guys, right now we have that hood open. So we're gonna go directly straight to the engine for this one. And with the 106s, guys, what you're looking at is the Cummins 8.9 liter engine. And this one is also partnered with the Allison six-speed automatic transmission. And this one is a 3200 TRV transmission. This will produce 350 horsepower and about 1050 foot-pounds of torque. So 1050 foot-pounds of torque. One thing about the Cummins engine, a lot of people love that engine compared to the, the Cat and the Mercedes. Um, again, there's a lot of preferences out there. Some people like either or. Again, with the 112s, you get the DD13, and that will give you more horsepower. A bigger, it, it, will be, it will be a bigger engine with more horsepower, more torque, of course. But with this particular one, if you look straight inside the engine, Majority of stuff is clearly labeled. So of course you can see the engine up here in red. Down here, we'll show the power, st power steering fluid. Of course you got the filter here for the fuel filter. We have the coolant in the back end. And of course, once you start moving around, checking stuff out in the engine, you'll see those labels on there. In the sun, great angle. You guys could see the crystals in the paint. Of course, it's a black exterior, and you can see that those crystals shining in the sun. Very easy to close. Handle is directly in the center here. It does have that soft close, so in case you're working in the engine and then a strong wind comes once it blows that hood it will give you enough time to either hold it back or get out of the way if it's falling towards you again with the freightliner you do have that badge up front so you know exactly what you're looking at different conversions have different front grills this one is a basic front grill one thing about the freightliners is that front bumper that is different from a wanton pickup if anything happens to any of these, any of the front bumper, you can replace any piece that is damaged. Whereas on a one ton, you will have to change the whole bumper, sometimes the fog lights, headlights, whatever the case may be. But with the height of this, you in an accident or whatever, you have three piece bumper. If any of those particular pieces are damaged, you could order that particular piece. So you don't have to replace the whole bumper. Tow hooks down here. Some 106s or 112s come with the stow hooks. Some of them have it stored inside the engine. There, there will be a compartment to put those uh, tow hooks on there. So if in case you see a Freightliner without those tow hooks, first place to look is underneath that hood. Sometimes, it, most likely, it's on the right side of that engine, or if you're looking at it, on the left side, uh, put together in that area so tow hooks typically come on all freight liners install or not install but it's very easy to put in there another good thing here guys you can see how big that windshield is and again you got you guys might be you know afraid of having such a huge windshield but to be honest there's so many of those windshields out there this is we actually cheaper to replace a windshield like this compared to some of the wanton pickups. Believe it, I've changed so many windshields working here on units, used units coming here. And of course, the price behind it, it's not that expensive at all. 
dual horns up top. So that's for our air horn. You do see an antenna coming up from that mirror. This Western hauler is equipped with a CB radio. So it's already installed for all those wanting a CB radio inside the units. We do have strap downs for the hood on either side of the, of the truck. Again, very easy to operate. Make sure it clamps solid on both sides. We're looking at tires now. This one we have Michelin tires. 255 80R22.5s. This compared to the Summit haulers, again, all, a lot of people ask about auto balancers. You can install those on this particular truck if needs be, and we could get it done right here at our shop. But this Western hauler don't typically put the auto balancers on there. So that's something you'll have to look forward to or add afterwards. If you look directly in here, I should have left the hood open, but right be behind the tires here, you can see the negative and positive studs. What that gives you quick access for jumping the truck or helping somebody out. So you got those studs right here. The reason behind that is the batteries are located underneath that back seat. So if I open up that door, there will be a panel right here that comes off and then those batteries are located right underneath that back seat. As I have the back seat open, I'm going to show you guys that back area. This is the rear bench and of course you got black interior. This bench will turn into a bed and you'll find that on the majority of the Freightliners we have out there. All different conversions will give you that same feature. So that's a great feature to have, saves you money. If you're on the road for a long time, you want to have a quick nap instead of renting a hotel room for two hours, find a nice truck stop, pull those bed down, and of course, enjoy a nice little rest. So we got two different areas for fuel. So right here we got diesel and def and then we also have another fuel tank on the opposite side storage boxes as you guys can see this is a shorter bed so you have a smaller storage box on either side again you could also add a storage box to the bed of the truck if you need more storage but it does come equipped with a fire extinguisher in the back end here those freight liners typically come in a dually form. We do have super singles and they're typically on the four-wheel drive model. I haven't seen super singles in person on a 106, just a plain four by two. But again, I'm sure they have those out there. But this particular truck does have dual wheels in the back and it's the same size as the front. 255 80 R22.5s. Checking out the bed. This one does come equipped with a gooseneck ball. Again, guys, if you decide to switch this out into a fifth wheel, we can. They do have adapters as well that could go onto that gooseneck ball to create a fifth wheel plate. But again, if you want a solid fifth wheel, we can get that done right here at our location. The bed is fully spray bed line. So if in case you want to put your four wheelers up there, the side by sides, or just storage in terms of your hay and stuff for your animals, you could store that right here. Very easy to clean up. You don't have to worry about anything scratching up the bed or anything like that. You do have a seven pin hookup here for your trailer. Also you have a seven pin hookup down here for your bumper pool. This does come equipped with uh, the glide hands for your air trailer. It is installed underneath here. Previous owner just wanted it temporarily, so he had it hooked up and 
was mounted underneath the truck. So there is glad hands underneath this truck. If you wanted to install on the truck, we could definitely punch it in wherever you think it's necessary. As we come around, gonna point out the rear view camera. This one is adjustable. So if in case you decide to just have the bed of the truck on there, this only comes on when you put the vehicle in reverse. So it's not like the Voyager camera system that we have on 24 seven and you will want to see that view. It only comes on in reverse. So however you want that tilt, it will be able to tilt on a particular angle. We do have another tank over here, another diesel tank. And let's jump inside and uh, kind of show you the interior part of things. And just coming in, guys, you can see the amount of space, headroom coming in to this Freightliner. So that's another reason a lot of people switch from a 110 to a Freightliner. Is the amount of room in here. Tons of headroom. Front seats are air ride, so it gives you a more comfortable ride, especially in rough areas. With the dually part of things, if you're driving a one ton without anything hooked up, you could actually feel that, you know, in your seat driving, how rough it could be sometimes. But driving in one of those freight liners, a lot of people get intimidated with the size of the truck. Once you get in and you start driving, it feels like you're driving a car or a pickup. It doesn't feel so big when you're driving it. And I'm sure I could see, um, people could say the same for a semi. So let me just turn this truck on. It's getting a little bit hot in here. <laughs> no guys, I'm not gonna take off my clothes. <laughs> just a little fun joke here. All right, so the truck is on. You could hardly even hear it. Right now we have the AC running, so that's a good thing. So let's start up from top here. We got storage on either side <coughs> of this head area. Dead center, we have that CB radio. We got your work light and your trailer light. So. I mentioned in a previous video, I sold this uh, unit to a customer and we were not getting the marker lights on his trailer. And it was a Western hauler and I totally blanked out. We looked for, you know, the testers for the seven pin and all we had to do was turn the switch on when you hook up to your trailer. So this gives you power for your running lights on your trailer and this will give you the cargo light for the bed of the truck. So with that off, none of those lights will work. For the sofa, everything is pretty much labeled up here. So this will actually turn that back bench into a bed, okay? We got lights up here. We got lights throughout the cab. We're gonna come down here. We got a Clarion uh, stereo system. This one does come with uh, satellite radio. It does have HD radio, FM and AM. This one does have DVD capability. And of course, Bluetooth also. When we come down, we got power windows. We got power locks, red differential lock, red air dumb suspension, optional switch. So that typically will power up a light or two. So sometimes we do have spare switches on here as we continue we have your cruise control so this is a switch to turn it on this is to set it and then of course this one is to accelerate and as you guys can see i could do that on the spot without driving so i could cancel that turn it off and my cruise control is off sometimes people do that to warm up warm up the truck a little bit faster you just kind of ramp up the RPMs a little bit, but again, it all depends on your preference if you believe it, believe in it or not. Um, this one does have heated mirrors, so that will turn that on. Manual regen, again, that's to 
automatic uh, manually region the truck and again as far as I know when I spoke to one of our Freightliner techs it sounds like this particular switch you have to plug in into a Freightliner computer and if they want to do a manual region on the spot in the shop or whatever they could do that by manually region in the vehicle the truck does it automatically when it needs it so you don't have to worry about regen in that vehicle the truck does it automatically so that manual region switch is just a way of doing it manually when you hook up to the Freightliner computer this one that's coming for cigarette lighter also has a 12 volt plug-in your air brakes your air parking brake again this is clearly labeled and that's what I love about uh, Freightliner you see parking brake and of course trailer supply brake as well right here you got your Allison six-speed automatic transmission very easy to operate R is for reverse and for neutral or park and of course D is for drive there is a manual mode you could you could actually use so you could actually put switch this mode and then you could actually um, change your gears with the plus and negative switch here this one does have a J brake or you call it an engine brake with the light on that means it's working so uh, down will give you three cylinders all the way up will give you all six cylinders so there is a high and low setting and works amazing trailer brake down there your AC controls have a nice little ashtray here cup holders storage more storage in here and of course you got tons of nice wood finish throughout and of course entertainment system you got a DVD player separate from your main sound system we do have headphones infrared headsets in here you could actually use that so the kids or your passengers in the back can entertain themselves while you entertain yourself up front with your stereo again like I said it's just under 114,000 miles so we have 113,350 miles on this truck as of this video if you guys are interested it is available we did have a price drop on this a little bit again if you guys are interested please give myself or Larry a call we'll be happy to answer any of your questions again my name is Marlon Bledman for all those just tuning in office number you could call or text on that number at 303-684-3412 could also call or text me on my cell phone at 661-755-4344 or you guys could email me with questions or concerns at marlon.bledman at transwest.com in the meantime guys thank you guys for tuning in today i'll see you guys back here tomorrow for another video stay safe out there and thank you guys for tuning in today